Uh, but anyway, uh, on the t on the subject of shield gate, uh, what I mainly do to avoid shield gate is I don't use snipers at all. I use shotguns, and the reason for that is shotguns have multiple projectiles. So uh, let's say a claymore fires eight pellets. Uh, let's say three of those pellets are enough to take down a shield. Uh, they they will take down shield. Let's say two pellets take down most of the shield, and then the third one takes down the rest of it and breaks that gate. And then the rest of the pellets will keep going, and they'll do damage to health. So they effectively make shield gate not exist. Um, and the same... Oh, those are SMGs. And that goes for every shotgun, um, including Geth Plasma Shotgun, even though it looks like it only has three projectiles. Um, which I, I highly recommend the uh, Geth Plasma Shotgun for the Geth Infiltrator. Uh... Or any infiltrator for that matter, because what you can do is you can charge, charge it, and then go into cloak, and then releasing that charge shot does not break your cloak. So you can charge, uh, cloak, proxy bomb, or uh, shoot a shot and take out a mob, proxy bomb, and then continue shooting with that extra damage. Um, and that's uh, that's it. Just adds an extra level of usefulness to cloak. Um, but the, the same goes for all shotguns. Um, Claymore and Rieger all ignore shield gate, even though Rieger isn't really a single shot weapon, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but what I do is, seeing as the Claymore has more damage than a sniper, uh, I use the Claymore when I'm going for single shot high damage infiltrators. Um, because it ignores shield gate, you can easily take out mobs with one shot that have shields. Uh, especially if you aim for the head. And in the case of the Claymore, if you uh, go, if you put the Smart Choke on it, it has a very, very long effective range where you don't lose that much damage. The spread's really tight, and uh, the only reason shotguns drop off damage is that the spread gets wider and some of the pellets miss. So if you use, um, here's my default setup is a uh, claymore with damage barrel and a uh, smart choke. And if you have it at a higher level, you really don't need to use the extra thermal clips because you get 19 shots and that takes a while to use up and you're probably gonna naturally just hit an ammo dump before you uh, run out. Um, so that's that's what, I, that's what I go for. On top of all the other buffs that you get from uh, cloak and uh, the infiltrator passives, uh, an extra 25% from the barrel, and then I have the Claymore uh, level 10, so that's nice. And uh, the extra range that you get from the Smart Choke. This is what I do instead of Widow Sniping. Uh, other than that, I use Crysay because it ignores Shield Gate um, and has area of effect damage. Um, uh, that's what I do for single shot high damage infiltrator classes. Um, and then one last thing is I want to talk about the Rieger Carbine. I don't see anybody using this gun, and I see a lot of people using Crysay, so I know they have it, because they have about the same drop rate in um, Premium Inspectors and Spectre Packs, and in fact, it seems to be higher in Spectre Packs, and I don't know what that is, but this gun is absolutely ridiculous, and I think the reason people don't use it is they go through and they see that this uh, damage bar is so low compared to something, say, like the, uh, like the Claymore, or even the Crusader, or... God forbid the uh, the katana, um, and and so they don't even try it out. But this gun has probably the highest potential for damage of any gun in the game. Uh, the reason for that is while it has a low effective range, uh, it has 22 shots that fire really really fast, and it's a fully automatic weapon. And since it's electrical weapon, it actually shreds uh, has a higher damage rate on shields. Um, Everything about this weapon is amazing. It sounds amazing. Uh, once you get it leveled up and use uh, a lot, uh, one reason why pe a lot of people don't use it is uh, because of its low capacity. I think you get like 60, 80 shots with it, including your uh, starter clip when it's at level one. But when you uh, when you get uh, higher level extra thermal clips and this damage barrel. Um, Get off of there. Show me my stats. Yeah. Uh, the capacity at level 10 is 
167 shots in your uh, spare ammo, plus the 22 that you have. So that's almost 200 shots, um, around 186, I guess, 180, 189, something like that. Um, and that's that's plenty to kill a lot of things. Um, cloaking and then proxy bombing something, you can kill uh, up to like three shielded enemies in one clip if you're good at um, if you're good with your accuracy. And seeing as infiltrators are supposed to kill trash, um, take care of the small guys, this weapon is absolutely amazing for that because this thing uh, turns hunters, troopers, centurions, uh, basic enemies. It, it turns them into sawdust in seconds. Um, and that's because while the damage is low, like, say, probably on par with... Let's see here. Like half of the scimitar shot, scimitar shot. Um, it also fires 22 of those very fast. And that's just an insane amount of damage combined with... Uh, passives and an extra 20% from proxy bomb and an extra 25% from your damage barrel. It is an insane amount of damage. And uh, if you're someone that hugs ammo dumps a lot and you want to put on shredder mod, it bas it almost doubles the rate at which you killed ar armored en enemies too. Uh, plus, for a weapon that isn't a bullet based weapon really, it also gives hit markers. Um, which is good for knowing when you're hitting something and putting down good damage. Uh, so there's that. And it does headshot damage. So, and uh, on enemies with hard to hit heads, uh, like some of the Reaper enemies and uh, Geth, you can just kind of spray in the area and you're going to get some headshot damage. And so basically this gun has everything under the sun. If you put on the Shredder mod, it will penetrate through objects. Uh, it shreds pyros when you have shredder mod and makes very very short work of uh, guardians without having to aim for the mail slot uh, and it it has a pretty good recharge speed even at level one it's a it, I think I can't really see because I'm recording on a terrible dazzle but I think it's a hundred here and if you go for some weight reduction talents uh, it, it can get up to like I think 165 percent recharge and it's really good on anything, uh, not just infiltrators. You can make short work of basic enemies really, really easily with pretty much any class. It's good with uh, close quarters classes, uh, like the uh, the Phoenix characters and vanguards and Forcha, any melee based classes. Um, and you can fire powers while you're, um, if you didn't know, you can fire powers while you're spending your clip on this gun. So. We, if you're using the Vorcha, you can have a really kind of a really cool kind of uh, flamethrower and uh, electricity rigor stream going, and just do uh, double flamethrower damage, kind of, uh, and and that's really cool, I think, just aesthetically. Uh, but that's really all I have to talk about. Uh, use the rigor, give it a try. Uh, don't knock it because it has low ammo and low damage per shot. Uh, also, in case you didn't know, Scorpion, they recently lowered the weight on it, so that's a little more usable. Uh, just a side note, I like the Scorpion, trying to get it up a little higher. Um, but I think that's it. Uh, if you've listened through all of this, I have this. I have the Harrier 3, which makes me really mad. I got that before I got any of the, uh, the two gold weapons. Uh, just a side note, RNG does not like me. It'll give me a Spectre weapon everybody wants that I don't, but it won't give me the... Uh, the two gold weapons that people tend to be complaining for a buff uh, for. But anyway, thank you for listening to me and my ramblings and my thoughts on all of these things. This, will probably, this is probably going to be a four-part series. Goodness gracious, I was planning on a ten-minute video. But uh, that's my thoughts on Mass Effect right now. Uh, I wish they would let me keep my character names like Skip and Sally and Poop and Johnny. Uh, I really wish they'd let me do that because I am not going to keep renaming my characters and I plan on promoting them for a long time to come. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of my video. Uh, good luck in your future matches. I may try to get use some of my graduation money to get a, a, uh, a PBR type device so I can capture some matches while I play. I'm going to try and start playing more 
non-Geth um, gold matches. Uh, maybe get together with some friends and do like some all Vanguard or all high damage uh, Chrysa Infiltrator matches. Just see how that goes. Try out different builds. Um, but anyway, first video posted in a while. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you later. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. F fuck. Oh.